Walking through Body Interact, you see three main menus, Home, Training Center, and Setting. In the Home section under Your Patients, there's a list of cases available to you, which you can easily filter to find a specific patient type. To get started with a new simulation, just pick a scenario, adjust the time, and click Start. In the simulation, you'll feel like you're in a real emergency room and you're in charge of managing this patient. Take a closer look at the patient's face or legs by adjusting the viewable options here. So what can you do? Have a dialogue with the patient to understand their symptoms, what happened, and to learn their clinical history. I'm feeling weak. Physical examination following the ABCDE assessment. You may check the airways, auscultate the lungs, observe the pupillary light reflex, and much more. You can assess the patient's vital signs through the monitoring function and the values will adapt in real time according to the patient's conditions. A wide range of tests can be requested, including imaging tests, ECGs, lab tests, and more. To remove tests from the screen, just drag them out or press the bin button. Tests can be reviewed anytime on the medical records folder. Use the call option to ask for a specialist's opinion or to send the patient to another department. There are many interventions and procedures you can undertake, including inserting a catheter, supplying oxygen, providing life support, and much more. For medications, there's a wide range of options you can choose from. In basic cases, you just have to choose a category, while in intermediate and advanced cases, you need to select the drug, mode, and doses. So how does a case end? A success message will appear if your practice meets the guidelines requirements. However, you can jump into the feedback section anytime before the case ends. After a case, choose the most likely differential diagnosis. The feedback section provides detailed reports to help you understand how well you have done. The timeline summarizes your actions in time order. The performance section shows what you have done correctly, incorrectly, or what you missed and the Knowledge section lists the clinical competencies you applied within the scenario. Lastly, the take-home message shows if you were successful or not, the learning objectives, and the scientific references behind the case. Thank you for watching.